time this time. So, how about I be on top of you, you lay down, and you, and let's rub. <laughs> What's, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Christian. Welcome back to Christian Roseman Show with a host, Christian Roseman. Got two things to talk about. Number one, I got a Throwback Thursday story I meant to tell this week, but I got lazy, didn't want to tell it. So today, I'm going to give you that. And two, we're going to talk about something political that's totally crazy that I know from another friend story. So that's going to be it. Let's get it. I want to hand over the mic to my, to my dearest counterpart. Dr. Real Love. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks, Christian. I appreciate you, my dude. I appreciate you. Get a look with that girl. Yeah, my man got a girl. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Love, how y'all doing? I want to talk about a real funny story about... My, I'm not going to say who it is, but he doesn't want me to tell the story. So I'm going to tell you, though, because it's funny. Uh, this happened summer, like summers ago. And, um, you know, you get that first puppy dog love. She did you. You dig her. They went on a date. First date ended up looking good. So they just kept dating over summer and summer. Now, here's the, now here's the, fun, now here's the now here's this part that I love and enjoy. You it you you got this relationship going on. Um, you don't know what to you. Everything's so new that you don't know what to do yet. Um, because if you're not getting fit physical and stuff, y'all y'all made kids called puppy dog names and stuff. Um, uh, you know, sometimes cuddle, not too physical. Set you. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I stop. I'm stopping. Um, but you know, you get real color like and stuff like babe, um, babe, um. I don't know. I'm not going to use the word. The daddy. What? No, I didn't use that. Um, yeah. So, this is my friend. It's called... Rubbin. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, this is my friend. They took a hike together because she liked to do... Hikes. Every level. If you look, I don't got nothing against it. You like hiking? That's cool. Do y'all, ladies. Do y'all. So, my friend went on a hike with her this, after this afternoon. And she was like, babe, let's go around to the back. It's okay. So um, they so they just ran up this hill. He was tired. She said, "Wait, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick." So I'm like, "Okay, that's cool." She come back. I don't know what happened to her out when she came out the bathroom when he told me this. But she came out of the bathroom feeling. And she started rush. She said she grabbed. She pushed him on the rock. She she was kissing up on kissing him. And he's like, "Yeah, man." She was kissing. Him. I was like, "Oh, dang, really?" He's like, "Yeah, man." I was like, "Okay." What did what she do then? She said, and he, he, she, she wanted it. She said, I'm feeling kind of, you know the H word. Y'all know it. Damn! Damn! Um, and so he's like, well, we in public, so what are we going to do? And he said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it because I don't want to have a baby. And you don't have this. So... How about I'll be on top of you, you lay down, and, and let's rub. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that, that's, the, that's the funniest and stupidest thing to me all, um, that I ever heard of in the dating game. You gonna do that instead? Now, I, now I'm gonna understand a couple things. One, y'all ain't have it. Cool. Two, y'all outside. Oh, by the way, these are some weird people. They didn't have no car. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't you dip. Look at, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. If you don't got no... There will no be fun now. No, there's no fun now. Just let you know. Let you know. No fun now. No fun now. No fun now. No fun now. No fun Yeah, and so that was just the funniest thing to me. And I thought... I need to give you some tips, some pointers. Like, bruh, how you gonna do that? that? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm just like, alright, whatever. I was like, so I'm gonna give him some tips today. This is a tip for my friend. Look, he, he misses relationships. I'm sorry, I have to call him out. You're my dude. You, I mean, Christian Roseman's your dude, but Mr. Dr. Rose is trying to do some ice. Alright, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you out. So, number one, pay attention to every detail. Nonetheless, that 
first date, you pay attention to your birthday, everything she likes, everything she don't like, what she eat, what she don't eat. That's the thing. Here's another story. You know when you had dinner with your girlfriend and well, um, babe or something, and she called you babe, it's all right. So you go, so you order something. You, you tell her what you want to order, she's like, nah, babe, no, I'm not hungry. I just, you just eat, and I'll just be on the phone. You go, you sure? I can't, it's not that trouble you, Julie. Okay, let's go, cool, fine. Yeah. Your food comes, she's like, ooh, babe, that looks good. Um, you mind, you mind if I just have a bite? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm like, um, I thought she was good. You said you want me to eat you said, but no, no, babe, look, I, I know I'm not hungry, but I just want to taste a little bit off this plate, like, eat, eat, eat. And, you, and, you got, and you got to be really nice, that's because you're your girlfriend, bro, so you just like, sure, yeah, why not, and she's like, oh, thanks, babe, you, you, you she, she take that little fork, mmm, that's, that's good, I was like, alright, nah, I'm gonna give her, and so, wait, 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 what's, uh, you getting some dessert too, Kai, a little piece that you like, Sure, why not? And it's like, thanks, babe. You the best. You don't get nothing in return when you get home. You so when you ask for her food, she's like, hey, babe, you mind? But like, no, hands off. She's she's the um she's the Lord of Rings. The, the, the my precious, my precious. I'm like, so I'm just like, oh, hey, I'm fine, fine. You won't be like that, fine. I won't answer you anything. So. That that's it. That it was just funny rubbings. It was just a funny story and all that. And getting back to my friend though, my boy, chill out. You you go to you go you do a little bit too much with these women. You got you ain't supposed to get serious right now. They, you know saying there's that he said I love you once to a girl that we know. How? Why? Why would you say I love you? It's only been four dates. I don't understand. So. That's it. That was that was that was a quick little story and little and little tips and you know, I, I wanted to see anybody know that. So, yeah. Appreciate you for guys listening to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Y'all 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 great. Y'all y'all should follow my man Christian Rose. What, what hey Christian? What was it? Oh Christian Roseman show. Okay, follow the Christian Roseman show. All right, I appreciate you, Christian. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh okay, thank you. Um, tell me I should, oh and I I I mess with you, girl. By the way, I see you guys later. Have a good day. This video is sponsored by the Christian Donation. Where you where you save a kid, you can save a Christian. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And now let's get back to the Christian Roseman show with your very young, handsome host, Christian Roseman. Do you, my boy? Do you? Hello, guys. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little segment. Now it's time to get to something called politics. Not really, though. But I have an issue in America right now. New movie theater opened up in Santa Monica. Why? Because they don't got no good movie theaters besides AMC. I'm not sponsored. This is not sponsorship. This is just AMC. But I have a series, Sinopolis Bay Theater. Okay? Now, it looks okay. I'm not getting a dang good review on it. I just know a little something about it that you may, you all might want to know. For yourself, it, for an adult ticket, is $27 for you. What the hell did you just say? $27 for you. And that's not including popcorn, your soda, your candy, your nachos, your pizza, Damn! and your kids. Ticket, a, a, a kid ticket is $24. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? $24 and $27. Do you know how much that is? That's almost 40 That's almost $40. $40 for your day. Now, I and now you gotta add this up. You gotta count you, your girlfriend, and that's like it's almost $40. That's almost, that's almost some many dollars. Then you gotta worry about popcorn. And you know how you know girls want their popcorn, they want the man to pay for that popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you get some that day and night. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, then yeah, I gotta pay for candy. Nachos? The pizza? That was forget about the girlfriend. Now you gotta go back because you have your wife and this count three kids. You and your wife, it's $27. Three of your kids, that's 24, 24, 20, 
24. It's 24. 22, 20, 27 twice. 27 plus 24, 24, 24. It's too much money to be spending for a ticket and you still gotta worry about getting your, your kid and your wife something. Candy, food, like, what? Got me, what? Got me messed up, my boys. Got me messed up. Why can't I pay, why can't I pay 27 or 24 dollars for my, for myself and, and, um, kid and kids? When you can just pay five dollars at Cinemark if you show your student ID. D d does that make sense? And I, I, I just did burn. You know that from that same show. I'll make sure I put that open yesterday. Please don't be stupid to go to pay twenty-seven dollars when you can pay for a five-dollar ticket. Does make any sense, my boys? Kodashi support. Like, that doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand. But, you know, do you, do you. Anyway, this has been... The, this has been the political talk with Christian Roseman. Fantastic Saturday evening. Cause, and I know tonight is... The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. Hey, the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. You know what I'm saying. All right, go out there, go boogie. Yo, for, here's your and here's your forecast right now. Sunday is that sad period. <laughs> if you gotta go your last day at work, it's school. <laughs> but look, at Monday is Veterans Day, so all day. So everybody enjoy. Everybody enjoy the weekend. Stay up. Stay safe. Stay blessed. It's been it's been real with the Christian Rosemary show. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace.